Hi, this is Sam from the CloudSlang team. Today, I'm going to demonstrate how to deploy Dockerize applications using CloudSlang. Here is a graphical representation of the flow that we'll be using. As you can see, the flow contains four main tasks. The first task pulls a Docker database image and starts it. The second task pulls an image of a simple web application that we created for this demonstration. The app displays a phrase which includes a word that was retrieved from the database. The third task starts the web application container and links it to the database container created in the first task. And the final task checks that the web application is up and running. If any of the tasks fail, the flow navigates to a special task that sends an email specifying the reason for the failure. Let's take a quick look at what the flow actually looks like. Here you can see the import section where we specify the imports for all of the operations and subflows we'll use. Here is the input section with all of the parameters that we'll need to pass to this flow. And finally, in the workflow section, you can see all of the tasks that make up the flow. Here are the four tasks we mentioned before. This flow uses CloudSlang's default navigation behavior. That is, if a task ends successfully, the flow navigates to the next task. But if a task ends in a failure, the flow navigates to a special onFailure property, which we can see here. As we mentioned before, in our case, if any of the tasks fail, the flow will send an email. Now let's see the flow in action. Here's a Docker machine. And as you can see, there are no containers running. Now let's run the flow using the CloudSlang CLI. This command calls our flow and passes in all the inputs using an input file I prepared ahead of time. The flow is now running, and you can see that the name of the task that is currently running is printed to the screen. And now it's done. The flow finished successfully. Let's return to our Docker environment to see what it looks like now. As you can see, now there are two running containers. One is the web application container, and the other is the database container. These are the two containers our flow created and started. And now we can take a look at the running application itself. You can see that the application is up and responding and it displays a short phrase. The application is using the database to store the second word you see here. We can test that everything is working properly by changing the value in the database. Here I'll do that using an HTTP client. Now I'm posting a request to change the value. And when we refresh the page, you can see that the web application retrieved the new value from the linked database container. So today we saw how simple it is to deploy a Dockerize application using CloudSlang. The flows and operations used for this example and the entire CloudSlang project are open source and can be modified to fit your exact needs. All of our ready-made CloudSlang content for performing common tasks and integrating with various technologies is packaged with the CloudSlang CLI and readily available on GitHub. You can find more videos like this demonstrating the capabilities of CloudSlang on our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. For more information, visit our website and check us out on GitHub. Also, feel free to contact us with any questions, comments, or suggestions.